Crystal here from Space to Love, and today we are doing peel and stick wallpaper in this little powder room in one of my clients' homes. And I'm super excited about this because I think it's gonna really be a nice dramatic effect that we're doing. So we wanted to do something moody, so we went ahead and chose this black, sort of black on black, but it's black and charcoal uh, with this sort of damask pattern. Uh, so it's gonna look really cool on the walls. And um, what I like about, I've done peel and stick wallpaper before, um, but usually like an accent wall or in a hallway. Uh, but what's gonna be nice about this, I feel like I get to cheat a little bit because it's only a half wall because the other part in the bottom is marble. Um, so that I think would be a little bit easier. Um, what's also nice about peel and stick wallpaper is it really, it has a lot of give. I mean, you can peel it and then peel it back. So if it isn't straight the first time, you really can play around with it and get it perfect. Uh, without messing up the wallpaper and uh, so that's really exciting yes yeah, so we got this wallpaper from Home Depot and online they have a lot of options if you go online not too much in the store um, but yeah so we're gonna use this I'll have the link below to that and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna take down all of the artwork obviously and all the hardware and um, the mirror which is kind of nice for me too uh, it's not a medicine cabinet, it's just a mirror that comes off the wall. So I'll be able to take that off, take the hardware off, and um, it'll be easier for me to put the wallpaper up. I won't have too many cutouts, maybe just for the light switch um, and around the window and the door. Other than that, it shouldn't be too difficult. So, uh, so I don't know, I think peel and stick wallpaper is a really great option if you're trying to look for, um, to have a little bit more of a dramatic or high-end effect um, without actually having to call in someone to hang proper wallpaper. Uh, you can do this yourself. Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and measured the wall and it's five and a half inches, uh, starting from the marble to the molding. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give myself 10 extra inches, five on the top, five on the bottom, or four and six. Um, just because we need that extra leeway to match up the pattern. So you want to make sure that you have that extra space. So now it's easy if we just have something holding down one end for you. Going to 65, make a few marks. And then follow those marks for your straight line. One panel ready to go. Okay, so I'm actually just doing the corner here and it's a little tricky, you know, because I had the three panels going straight across, which was nice and easy. And then here I had about five and a half inches left. So, um, so I went ahead and cut the panel. But before I cut the panel, um, I wanted to make sure that I lined it up first and that I cut from the left side over. So I knew that my straight edge would still be here with the part that I cut. Um, because I've done it before and I've actually, oh, I just went seven inches now looking at the other side and then I cut and the wallpaper was upside down. So little tip there. <laughs> and um, also here, since there's like this little lip right here um, between the windowsill and the wall. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give myself another extra inch and um, have it wrap around the side here. So then it actually just fell right into this little gap between the windowsill and the wall. Um, and it worked out really nice that, um, cause I don't know how I would have cut that small piece, it would have been really annoying. Uh, yeah, so that actually looks really good and really flush and nice. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that a little bit. I'll cut it back, but leave myself maybe one eighth of an inch um, on this wall here. So then when I go to put the other panel over here, there's not gonna be a white line or it's not gonna be hard to match it up and then make sure that that looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that and uh, finish up. Okay, so I'm back in the bathroom and I finally finished 
this peel and stick wallpaper, this project was, um, it was fun. I mean, there is something satisfying about getting all the bubbles out of the wallpaper when you're putting it up. But, um, but the contrast, the black wallpaper with the white was very tricky because you have to be, it has to be perfect. Your edges have to be perfect. Um, otherwise you notice every little misstep. So this was definitely my friend. Um, and this was really helped getting the bubbles out too and kind of straightening it out. So this was great, um, but it really helped getting it down at the bottom here and then actually using your box cutter and just like taking your time and getting that perfect cut uh, just so it looks really nice. And um, yeah, and even like up on the top too, really needed, uh, you just need that, just extra care, extra time, make sure your blade is super sharp. And um, I think that'll be helpful if you're doing something like this with the high contrast. I have to say, the other peel and stick wallpapers that I've done was like white wallpaper with a cool pattern, but it was on white walls. And then there was another, um, I did like a blue with a pattern on it, but it was on blue walls because it was just an accent wall. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was definitely more forgiving uh, when you're, you know, when you have the same color or the back um, with the background. Anyway, I love the results. I think it looks great. I think my client's gonna be really happy with it. Um, it definitely has a moody, cool vibe in here, so much better than just the white. And um, and yeah, the contrast with the white marble looks amazing. Uh, yeah, so I hope you found this inspiring and you know, give it a try. And uh, it's super fun. It can change any little room or maybe a closet. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, definitely like and subscribe, and um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.